Hello. Today we're going to talk about radioactivity. So, when you have a particularly large isotope of an element, one with a lot of neutrons and protons within its nucleus, they become unstable. And they have a tendency to decay into other elements, and in doing so, emit ionizing radiation as they try to become more stable. So, for instance, something like uranium-238, uh, that is uranium with an atomic mass of 238, um, has a tendency to decay, randomly, into thorium-234. And when it does that, it emits, it gives off uh, an, what's known as an alpha particle. Now we're going to talk about what those are in a moment. Now this process is called radioactive decay. And this is an entirely random process. It is not affected by physical conditions such as, such as temperature or pressure or pH or the chemical bonds that the, the thorium uh, atom is itself in. And this is a process that happens in the nucleus of the atom and doesn't involve the electrons directly. Just another phrase that you're going to come across in this topic is radioactive substance. And a radioactive substance is a substance that will or can emit ionizing radiation. So there are three types of ionizing radiation. There is alpha radiation, beta radiation, and gamma radiation. So alpha particles consist of two neutrons and two protons bonded together, traveling at relatively high speeds with no electrons at all. So an alpha particle, especially compared to the other two kinds of radiation, are, are very massive, they're large, uh, they t they're slower than the other two kinds of radiation, and they have a, a charge of 2+. plus. And they are very ionizing. So generally, alpha radiation can be stopped by either a sheet of paper, like the one I'm writing on right now, or a few centimeters of air. And that's, that's related to the fact that it's so ionizing. It will, it will ionize almost anything it comes into contact with, and once it's ionized that material, it won't travel any further. Okay, the second type of radiation is beta. Now, beta radiation consists of a very fast electron, that's been emitted from the nucleus. Now this is not an electron from the electron shells, this is an electron that is created and emitted from the nucleus. So, because it's a, essentially a very fast electron, it has a very small mass, the same as any other uh, electron you may find. It is moving quickly, it's moving fast, especially compared to most particles, and it has a 1 minus charge, just like other electrons. Now, beta radiation is moderately ionizing and can be stopped by a 5 millimeter sheet of metal. So beta particles have a small mass, they travel fast for a particle, they have a, a 1 minus charge, a negative charge, they are moderately ionizing and they will can be stopped by a 5 millimeter sheet of aluminium, but they would penetrate, they would go through paper or a few centimeters of air. The third and final form of radiation are gamma rays. Now the other two are both particles, but gamma rays are a form of wave.
Gamma rays are a form of high frequency electromagnetic wave. Because they're not a particle, they have no mass. Um, as an electromagnetic wave, they travel at the speed of light, approximately 300 million meters per second. They have no charge, and partly because of their lack of mass and their lack of charge, um, they are, are not very ionizing. And because they're not very ionizing, they can penetrate through materials very easily. In fact, to stop gamma rays, you need, either need inches of lead, centimeters of lead, or meters of concrete. Well, I hope this has uh, helped you have an overview of the types of radiation and what a radioactive material is. Uh, in future videos, we're going on to, to looking at, at drawing up nuclear equations to, to describe the emission of these types of radiation from a, from a nucleus. Um, if you have any questions, you feel welcome to leave them in the comments or come and see me in school tomorrow. Bye.